In this video, we will show you how to change content on your website according to the user's search term. This is a very powerful and extremely practical feature. Setting it up only takes a few minutes and the results are amazing and instant. By making a minor change to your landing page title or image, you can make any user feel like they have found exactly what they are looking for, which will greatly improve your ROI from Google Ads campaigns. For example, if a user searches for your product name plus recommendations, you can indicate in the headline that your product received particularly high recommendations. If they search for the product name plus price, present price related information, and so on. Cool, right? Wait until you see how simple this is to apply to any existing website. What's more, no coding is involved. All you need to do is create another version of the content using if so. Tell Google Ads when to show the new version by using a simple copy-paste string that is generated by the plugin. Let's dive in. On your WordPress dashboard, under If So, click Add New Trigger. Here you will have the option to create two or more versions of any element on your website. A dynamic version that will be displayed if a condition is met, and a default version that will be displayed in all other cases. Copy the original content from your website and paste it in the default version content field. Press Publish and paste the trigger shortcode instead of the text. Since we have not created a dynamic version yet, the default version will be displayed on every page loaded. Back on the trigger editing page, in the dynamic version box, type in the second version of your content and in the condition selection box, select advertising platforms and then Google Ads. A text field will come up in which you can enter an identifying search term of your choice. If so, automatically generates a string that starts with LP URL, which means in Google Ads, landing page URL, followed by a question mark, if so, which is a constant parameter, and then the value you have typed. Adding the part of the string that starts with a question mark at the end of the URL will result in the dynamic version to be displayed. One way to set Google Ads to show this version is by pasting the URL that includes the query string directly in the final URL field. This field can be found on the keyword level, ad level, ad group, campaign, and at the account level. If you do not see the final URL column on your reports, you can add it by clicking the column button. The second option is to set the final URL field with the static URL, the regular URL of your page, and to use the tracking template field for the dynamic part. All you have to do is copy the string generated by IFSO and paste it in the field. The value from this field is then added to the one set in the final URL field. You can click the test button to make sure you've set it correctly. That's it. Users coming from a search phrase that is associated with the word price will see the relevant content, while the other users will see the default version of the website. Check out our video about the recurrence option if you want the same content version to be displayed to users when they return to the website or when browsing from page to page. That's all for now. If you have not yet downloaded Ifso, you can download it for free from the WordPress directory or from ifso.com. And of course, feel free to visit our website or contact our support team for any assistance.